Shweta, so what has brought you here? Why do you want to do an MBA? I was so excited that I'm finally gonna share about marketing. But the moment I started, the interview was like, chodo yaar, ye to prepared lag raha hai. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel where we share about exams and jobs in a credible and elaborate manner. What you just saw was a glimpse of my IIM Calcutta MBA admission interview. It was fun, it was tricky and it certainly had some questions that I'm never ever gonna forget. This is how it all started. The moment I got seated, they asked me to hand over the file to them and they started going through my transcript. So they were like, hmm, commerce se hain aap, kya rank tha aapka college mein? I said I was rank 1 till the 4th semester and they was like, you've always scored good marks, right? I honestly thought they're looking for ego issues so I ended up saying, I've always scored decent marks, sir. And after that, I felt so bad, like who says decent marks? And the interviewer was also smiling but then he signaled the other professors to start off with the questions. You've studied accounts, right? So let me give you a situation. Let's say you are a dairy farmer and you have 50 cows. Now if one of your cows gives birth to a calf, how would you account for this in the books of accounts? For a moment, I was honestly like, what? Do you really expect me to know this? I said that since in this case, cows are not really goods and services for me, they are my fixed assets. I believe that it's an appreciation of my fixed assets if there's a birth of a calf. The interviewer then asked me, how is it appreciation of your fixed assets? To which I said that since the calf can be sold out in the market, hence it will be a capital gain for me. To which he asked, can you share what will be the journal entry in this case if you sell out the calf? I was like, okay, this is getting weirder and weirder. But to give it a shot, I said that I'm sure that the assets account will get debited, but I'm not really sure what will get credited. So the professor asked me to take a guess and I said probably P&L account but turns out it has to be the capital account. Shweta, who was Seth Kirodimal? I honestly could not recall it at that point of time. My brain was betraying me like anything. So I was like, so there was a trust that was found and he was the founding member and yeah, our college was named after him. And then I realized, what did I just say? Of course, our college was named after him. My college's name was Kirodi Mal College. Of course, it was named after him. The professors were also laughing at this point, to which I ended up clarifying that there were some staff management issues that our college used to face. And this trust found by Seth Kirodi Mal helped regain the college reputation. And it was renamed from Nirmala College to KMC, Kirodi Mal College, in the memory of Seth Kirodi Mal. Finally, they gave me the nod of approval and moved on to the next question. One of the professors was scribbling something on a piece of paper and he asked me, what is an indifference curve? To which I told the answer and then he passed me that piece of paper which looked something like this. Then he continued asking, can you rank these three points in the order of preference for a rational consumer? To which I thought for a moment and then I said, sir, it's not possible to rank them because the intersection of indifference curves violates the basic definition of an indifference curve. So it's a contradiction and hence that's not possible. He then asked, what is a Giffen good? I told the answer. Then he asked, how is a demand curve? Any example? I shared all these things because I had studied economics. And then suddenly he asked, what is the substitution effect? Again, my brain was not helping me out, so I could not recall it and I said, sorry sir, I've read it but I'm not able to recall. He then saw in my file that I had done the NCFM financial module and he ended up asking me, okay, so what is Sensex? I shared, then he asked me, what are derivatives? What do these represent? What are the underlying assets? A lot of these financial questions. I honestly did not know the answer to every single thing, but I did share a couple of them. And then finally, the professor who was silent all this while asked me, so Shweta, what brings you here? Why do you want to do an MBA? And I was so excited that I'm now going to talk about marketing, which is something I'm so enthusiastic about. I started sharing that I've done an undergrad degree. That's when I recognized that I like marketing. And I was about to share how I have started reading so much about it. And he interrupted me saying, Chodo na yaar, ye prepared lag raha ekdom. I was like, no, sir, I genuinely like marketing. He said, wait, wait, we'll come to it. Pehle ye batao, do you read newspaper? I was like internally pissed that I didn't know about marketing. Like obviously it will be a prepared answer. I'm appearing for an interview. But then I said, yes, sir, I read newspaper. Since the Nirav Modi case was in highlight at that point of time, he asked me that in accounts, you must have studied a concept that was missing in this case. What was it? Just explain in two or three words. I said it was internal check. 
He asked me to elaborate, to which I assured that internal check means that the work of one employee gets checked by someone else to reduce the chances of fraud. So he said, would this not be like an infinite thing that ek ka kaam dusra check kare ja raha hai? And then I said, no, sir, in that case, you can appoint an audit committee as well. And then he said, what if your audit committee also joins hand in the fraud? I said, then you can have an independent audit committee. And then he said, if they also join hands, I was like, I said, nahi hoga. But then I was like, um, sir, then it's a very debatable issue because then you need to bring in moral ethics and codes for your employees if that's the case with the organization. And then he asked me about the Cadbury Corporate Governance Report. I said, I haven't heard of it. Then he asked me about the Birla Corporate Governance Report. I hadn't heard of it. Then he said, haven't you studied corporate governance in college? I said, it's a part of my curriculum this year, but I haven't yet studied it in class. And he said, okay. So last question, do you read books? Honestly, at this point, when I heard last question, I was like, what? Is that it? You did not even let me talk about marketing. How can you end the interview? But then I had to answer the question. I was like, yes, sir, I read books. He asked me, what was the last book that you read? I said, David Ogilvy's Ogilvy on Advertising. He said, Shweta, are you sure you've read that book? I said, yes, sir. He said, so what's your favorite quote from India? I said, if it doesn't sell, it isn't created. And that's how my interview ended. They asked me to take a candy and that was it. Honestly, the best thing I liked about the interview was that even if they did not let me talk about marketing, I still got to somehow end with it. Overall, it was a fun, light, warm conversation, more so as compared to an interview, really. Everyone was smiling in the room. It did not feel like it was a stress interview at all. And the verdict was that I converted I am Calcutta. But because I had also made it to I am Ahmedabad, I went to I am Ahmedabad. I would like to thank you for watching this video. I hope it contributed to your life a little. If it did, do drop a comment or like or subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. I hope that I bring more people on board with different academic backgrounds and have made it to different B schools so that you can get to learn from diverse experiences going forward. In case you have a video recommendation that you would like to watch or you simply have a doubt regarding exams, career or life in general, just please drop a comment. Would love to connect.